they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. What's going on guys? It's Site Pro here and we're back with some more Skyrim and in today's video we're going to be going over how to get Daedric Hearts, you know, how to get them, where to get them, uh, or Daedra Hearts, I said Daedric, but Daedra Hearts, um, it's not too simple, oop, that'd be my phone, let me put that on silent, um, it's not that difficult to actually get them, there's two methods that, um, I use and I'm gonna be going over, and there's a buying method and a finding method, um, both are semi-easy, you just need to know where to go, um, before I start the video fully and go into depth on all those, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on all the most recent videos. It, you know, the support has been great. Everybody's super amazing. We're growing insanely. Um, I was at zero. Now we just hit 170. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, let's now get into the video. So, like I said, there are two methods. There's a the buying the buying method and the finding method. The buying method, you will need to go to every hold in Skyrim except Windhelm and Whiterun and go to all the alchemy shops and actually buy the Daedra Hearts if they have any because they all have a percentage to have Daedra Hearts. Now I say excluding Windhelm and Riften because I did not find an alchemy shop in either of those places. I might have missed it very well could have missed it but I did not see him so we're just going to be going over Morthal, Solitude, Markarth, Falkreath, Whiterun, Dawnstar and Winterhold kinda College of Winterhold because it's not in Winterhold now it, I'm just gonna be talking over them you can just travel to the holds open up the local map so you know just pull down your map press whatever button it says at the bottom for local map and find the location to head over there I would show you all the locations, but it would be quite tedious and a very, very long video. But I'm just going to go down the list now. Okay, so Marthal is going to be Thaumaturgist's Hut. I don't know how to say that. It's a long one. Um, that's number one. All of them will be linked in the description down below. So if you don't want to listen to my, you know, pronunciations, go down there. Um... Solitude is going to be Angeline's Aromatics. Uh, Mark Hearth is going to be the Hag's Cure. Falkreath is Grave Concoctions. Whiterun is Arcadia's Cauldron. Dawnstar is the Mortar and Pestle. And College of Winterhold, there is a man named Inthir in one of the um, doorways. You can just head in there and go um, buy from him. All of the shops have a percentage, like I said, to have uh, Daedra Hearts, so they don't always have them, but they do have a high or semi-high chance to have some on them. Now, the other way I said was going to be the finding method, and what I mean by that is, kind of spoiler alert, this game's so old, I'm sure you all know about this, but, you know, uh, I guess I'll say spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, so there is a quest um, museum you know, like a museum quest in Dawnstar where you have to go get three pieces of a dagger and then bring them over here to the shrine of Mayrun's Dagon and actually what it is is you go to the shrine of Mayrun's Dagon there are four Dramoras there two on the outside and two on the inside you'll kill the two on the outside take their two danger hearts grab the key go inside do the same thing so we're actually gonna do that real quick so I'll be back once we get there. All right, now we are back actually. And as you can see, they are here now. They are semi strong. Oh no, don't fall. No. Okay, we're just gonna empty his inventory before he falls. Um, take all, we'll just take it off of all of them. Um, basically, as you can see, you know, the museum quest you know, Lord Dagon will ask you, hey, you know, do you want the dagger? I'm like, you'll be like, yeah. And then he'll be like, kill this guy. So you'll kill this guy. This guy's from the museum. Blah, blah, blah. He's crap and all. But grabbing from those guys, I got two Dramora hearts. I keep saying Dramora. Two Daedra hearts. Um, as well as, you know, some Inferno weapons, some fire weapons, which we don't really want. But if you do need some. Ooh, what is that? I, did, I forgot there was a Frost Troll. Let's just kill him real quick. Nothing difficult. Nothing difficult. 
and then also from looting the body there is the keys to Mayrune Shrine there's one on each of them and like I said every Dramora will have one Daedra heart on them no matter what so we're gonna go inside the little temple and kill the other two also there is stuff on the inside like ebony ingots gold ingots supplies as you can see there is more in here so he thought he should armor up to get strong but you know it's all right we're dragonborn ain't gonna be doing too much so as you can see there's more burning another daedra heart and another daedra heart and you can take their weapons do all the stuff but like i said there's chests in here with stuff there's loot all over the place over here there is some gold and ebony ingots now this one always gets stuck if you don't grab always get stuck if you don't grab it first so yeah but there's some ebony ingots as well looks like just two um sometimes i've seen three or four uh you know there's armor there's another chest here you know you can just scavenge through here the big chest in the middle with some random stuff in here this is where the good loot is let me see if there's any more ebony ingots there is one so there you guys go that is the other way to get daedra hearts and if you want to refresh this leave to a, another hole or another place like go to white run or something or Morthal wherever and then wait 48 hours and then come back um, that has worked for me before if it does not work for you the first time go wait a couple more you know increments of 24 hours you know at a hold away from here so they can respawn come back rinse repeat um, but yeah that's going to be mostly it. Like I said, there's buying and then there's finding. This one, after you do the quest, is probably the easiest way to get Daedra Hearts. But the other way, if you just want to buy them, you can go buy them at shops. The gold, or the cost for them, will be about 800 gold. So if you want to know how to get some gold, I'm going to link in the description um, to some chests where there is, you know, gold in those chests as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. This is Site Pro, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.